Good morning, everybody. It is about 7.20 in the morning here on a Sunday along the lakefront in Chicago. This weekend, I had a 17 mile run on the calendar, but everything had to change a little bit. Yesterday, I met up with my running buddy. We ran 15, which wasn't quite the 17 that I wanted to get or the workout that I really thought we needed to have. So today, I'm out here by myself and we're gonna do 10 miles at marathon pace or at least at BQ pace for me at my age group and I'll probably do about a total of 12 miles so today it's about being flexible with the plan and changing things up as we need to go. Hitting the turnaround point for today, just a little bit shy of four and a half miles into this 10 mile stretch at BQ pace. Feeling pretty good. Paces are a little bit all over the place, but that's what tends to happen to me in the meta speed sky. It's kind of hard for me to lock in on an exact pace. In the beginning, I was running a bit slow, about 7.30s. Lately, I've been coming in about seven minutes even, sometimes a little bit fast, sometimes a bit slower than that, but I feel like at least the level of effort has been somewhat consistent. Now on the turnaround, we should be able to get a little bit of a tailwind, hopefully. Bit more than seven miles into this 10 mile stretch at BQ pace. Goal pace for my age group is seven minutes, 14 seconds per mile. I think since the last time we checked in, I've been running a little bit hot, but it's been feeling real good. Enjoying the push, but trying to remember the point of the workout today is to hit the goal level of effort, which for me, I think is going to be a little bit less than my current level of fitness marathon pace, but I think kind of a good spot for me to be at. Eleven point three nine miles, seven minutes, twenty three seconds per mile, one hundred and sixty beats per minute today for today's workout which was not originally on my calendar or it was like kind of on the calendar originally what i had envisioned was that i'd be running this run on sunday with my running buddy 17 miles as we're getting really close to the chicago marathon at this point with about 10 of those miles at what i think his goal marathon pace uh would have been now we weren't really sure what his goal marathon pace was going to be his training has been a little bit uh broken up hasn't been all that consistent over the last several months and so like today was going to be kind of a good barometer for us to see like where we're ultimately going to end up being so i was thinking that like i think his uh pr marathon pace would have put him at somewhere in like the 740s per mile maybe somewhere like 730 uh and so I was thinking maybe for today we're anywhere between like 740 to eight minutes per mile for that like 10 mile stretch of uh marathon pace effort with in a much longer 17 mile run but things ended up happening and so we ended up moving the the run to yesterday so we went yesterday we did 15 miles we just did them nice and easy i needed a little bit of recovery because i had done a workout the day before on a friday and it ends up that he has not been really feeling all that good in terms of his training 
at all. So we just ended up kind of like scrapping whatever we had planned and just going for a run and hanging out two friends. And so uh, we went for like 15 and a half miles. We stopped a whole bunch of times. A lot of uh, aid stations that get set up from CARA, the Chicago Area Runners Association, they provide like Gatorade endurance and water for anyone that's running along the lakefront to uh, to enjoy. And so we took advantage of that. Thank you very much to CARA for providing that. Uh, and we just had like a nice easy run uh, and had a great time. During the run, he told me that uh, he's had some knee issues. He's been battling on top of that with some ankle issues from the prior year. And so like his training has been very inconsistent and not kind of where he wanted it to be. I tried to convince him like, look, we're going on a 15 mile run today. I think you can kind of like, you know, manage your way through just getting through the 26.2 uh, and we'll just have a fun run and just, you know, have a really good morning running out there along the streets of Chicago. But I think that, you know, there's just a lot I think of work that he would want to put into it even from now till the marathon as well as the marathon itself. So he hasn't made the final decision on deferring yet. I think he has, he just hasn't clicked the buttons uh, to, to make that final. But I did kind of like make one little push trying not to pressure him too much because it felt like, you know, he's got a lot of other stuff going on right now. So um, it's a bummer, but I don't think I'm going to be able to run it with him. So, you know, I mean, I feel, I feel like if you could knock out a 15 mile run on a Saturday, not feeling great, I feel like in four weeks you could probably uh, manage 26.2. But that's, you know, that's his decision. And I look forward to running that race with him next year, as well as we already started talking about what are some of the other races that we can run together uh, for like 2022 um, when he's ready to start racing again. So it was good to see him. Sad to hear that he was uh, not gonna be running the Chicago Marathon this year, but ultimately, you know, I had a good time on Saturday. So then that left me with like what to do with Sunday. I've been putting my rest days for my training block uh, on Mondays. So I did wanna do something for Sunday. I didn't wanna kind of like take a, a recovery day cause I didn't really feel like I needed a full like, like recovery run day after an easy run, even though it was a longer distance. So I decided to put like the work portion that I still wanted to get over this weekend into today's run, but keeping the run basically as short as possible while still getting a 10 mile block of marathon pace. And so for today, I wasn't really sure, you know, anymore what, what to kind of pick for the marathon pace. Um, so I thought, you know what, uh, let's go with BQ pace for me, which is seven minutes, 14 seconds per mile, comes in at three hours, 10 minutes for the marathon. Uh, and so I thought I would go with kind of that pace and I thought that would be kind of a good kind of place where I think my fitness is better than that. And I mentioned that during the run today, um, but you know, let's put it into practice. Let's see really where we are. I haven't done this kind of workout since really before triathlon training had started. So it was, this was kind of like a good kind of like gut check in terms of where I am. So for that 10 mile block, uh, I was running at an average of seven minutes, nine seconds per mile, 164 beats per minute and 258 watts. And so that heart rate is right about where I wanna be on average for running my marathon efforts. And that wattage is a little bit low. I think that my marathon, like goal marathon wattage in terms of power should be somewhere between like 260 to 265. So 258 is a little low, but it's in the neighborhood. And then that 709 pace is about like where I think my level of fitness is. So I think, I don't know exactly where 709 puts me, but I think it puts me in like 306, 307 in terms of, you know, what that marathon would end up being at. For those 10 miles I was at today, I felt like there was a section in the middle where I felt like I was comfortably pushing. And then there was another, lots of other parts of this, that 10 mile block where I was holding myself back and like, kind of like, you know what, the pace isn't exactly right, but let's just chill right here and see kind of where we're at. Uh, so like, I was kind of like intentionally like pulling back a little bit. So I felt like that's probably the right, level of effort for, for marathoning. I think that like being at that point where like I could go a little bit faster than this, uh, but holding it back, I think is the right kind of like feeling that you should be having for like a 10 mile block. So I'm thinking that, you know, if I'm going to, you know, run Chicago uh, without my running buddy, I mean, if he decides ultimately that he wants to run, if he wants to, you know, run, walk, if he wants to do nine minute miles, try it for eight minute miles, whatever he wants to do, you know, I'm, I'm happy to run that with him. But 
uh, I'm thinking that uh, another thing that's a potential opportunity, um, you know, I guess the silver lining of it all is that um, this gives me an opportunity to potentially qualify for Boston for next April. So I think that my only BQ qualifying time is before the window for 2022 uh, by a couple of months. And so um, this gives me a chance to try and get within uh, that three hour and 10 minute time frame. Now, I think my current level of fitness coming off of training for a triathlon and having a very short build up to the Chicago Marathon doesn't put me in an ideal place to, to like succeed. I think I can get the BQ time, but um, I know that like with for 2022, you're going to need to be a lot under whatever your BQ cutoff time is in order to actually get a bib. So I think realistically for me, I'm probably thinking I might line up either in the one pace group behind the BQ group or, or like maybe in the 315 marathon group, or maybe I'll line up in the BQ group 310 and then see how much more I can push ahead if I'm feeling good, like, you know, halfway through or maybe 15 miles, 16 miles into it. So that's kind of like loosely some of the things I'm thinking about for now. But ultimately, I'm hoping that maybe after having a good 15 mile run over the weekend, I'll follow up with my buddy and see uh, maybe if he changed his mind, maybe he hasn't deferred that registration and then we can still run together in terms of the race going forward i was really worried for a while there that it wasn't going to happen uh the chicago pride parade which has a route that overlaps with the chicago marathon route uh did cancel even though it's supposed to be held the week before the chicago marathon but since then there's been other events this last weekend uh we went to an art festival which again is on the same street that the parade was supposed to be on and that the marathon is supposed to be on and that was you know not as crowded as the parade not as crowded as the chicago marathon but you know a large gathering of people and so like it seems like the city's not against events happening now the chicago marathon is an event of scale that is very different from anything else that i've already talked about so that's something to consider but we Im implemented a mask mandate for indoor spaces in chicago as well as i think the entire state did as well and so that I think has had a positive effect that went into effect, like I think August 20th. So it's been several weeks now and it does look like it's helping, uh, which makes sense. So I'm hoping that that all bodes well. Uh, I've been seeing more and more like social media content starting to come out in terms of like the Chicago Marathon uh, apparel, uh, the finishers shirt, um, as well as like just other posts coming from like the Chicago Marathon social media accounts those are happening. So like, you know, it's good to see that. That means that like they're at least, you know, not stopping. It's not radio silence. I think radio silence would be really scary, but they're still posting stuff. So overall, it seems like, you know, all systems are go. So I'm feeling good about it. I'll be announcing uh, when I'll be doing, I got to figure out like the exact times. What I'm planning on doing is having a shakeout run that we can do together on Saturday. Uh, the day before the marathon, we'll meet at the Chess Pavilion and then run downtown towards the Bean. So it'll be like a point to point. It'll be like about three miles, not too long. Um, and then I'm thinking I'll probably time it so that way we can like then like if people want to hop into some Ubers or something and then head down to uh, pack, pick up packets at the expo. So that's kind of like what I'm thinking. I'll figure out exact times and I'll start putting together like maps and stuff for people. But um, kind of pencil that in on your calendars if you want to get together and go for a run or if you're just spectating or coming to the city to watch the race and want to uh, join in on the fun in terms of having a shakeout run the day before the race feel free to join i'd love to see you guys there i've also got a couple of other fun things planned because of the fact that like gathering people in an indoor space is going to be difficult uh, unfortunately i was going to do them like live live but i got some other stuff that i think i'm gonna have to do but i'll have to do it you know not in a large group setting so that's unfortunate but i do have some surprises coming and i think that they're going to be really fun and you're going to enjoy it so stay tuned for all that stuff as i kind of finalize details in terms of specific times uh but stuff will be happening on friday as well it won't be stuff that you guys can attend but stuff will be happening on friday there'll be stuff that we could do saturday outside together um and then uh the race will be on sunday we're getting close. Only a handful of weeks left into the Chicago Marathon. But I think that something that I'm going to have to do is kind of be flexible because I don't know exactly what the plan is going to be in terms of what we're doing, what my pace is going to be, who I'm running with. 
Um, and I think that probably for everyone else too, in terms of what's going on in the world, we should probably all be prepared to be a little bit more flexible and a little bit more patient than we might otherwise be so that we can still have this wonderful event. Um, in the meantime, before our Chicago Marathon goes, we'll also get a chance to see if the Berlin Marathon goes and if the London Marathon goes too. So hopefully those events go off without a hitch because um, that will also you know, bode well for the Chicago Marathon as well. So uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or better yet, feel free to stop by the live stream that I do Monday through Friday right here on YouTube and you can always talk to me in the chat. I'd love to see you there. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs and I'll see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?